fellas, it's finally happening, man. We got some amazing weather, which means we can fish wherever, whenever we want. First, we're making a quick stop inshore to load up on some bait. Going in with the cast net to catch some live mullet to throw around the jetties. All right, let's get some bait. We're stopping inshore first rather than getting them at the jetties. It's always nice just to get there and already have bait ready to go. And you can't tell me there's not going to be all kinds of mullet just right in this area right here. I already seen some pop up right there. Oh yeah, there goes one or two, a bunch. Wow, got a few just on that cast right there. Maybe just one big guy. Not even, we could use that guy actually. It's not too big. Oh, there's a bunch right here. There's a hole. There's a few right there. A little bit bigger guys, but... Oh yeah, there's some usable ones in there for sure. Woohoo! Oh yeah, there's some nice ones. Let's go. More than I thought. Let's see if we can get the big ones to jump out. Big one, get out of here. Yes sir, these guys are gonna give us some bites. Well, man, I'm super glad we got out here. Winds came up a little bit, but dude, it's looking freaking incredible. Damn, dude, it's looking so nice out here. I might have to hop in the water first, try, try the surf area. Wow, dude, it's crazy. The wind picked up a little bit, maybe 13, 14. I thought it might have churned up the water, but I guess we had a nice enough morning that the water's still really nice. It's super clear, actually. Did not expect this, but I love it. Decided to travel light today, only got five rods. Draw! <laughs> Let's put our mullet right square in the middle of a rock. In case they do jump out, we have the best chance of saving them. And this mullet here, we're gonna be fishing closer to the rocks. What happens this time of year is uh, redfish, they, they're running the beaches right now. You know what we're gonna do? We caught these mullet in some super hot water. Probably 90 degrees. Mullet are pretty good in heat, but since we got some cooler water, we might as well let them have some of it. That water is much cooler now. Hopefully they appreciate it. <laughs> Did we get a bite? My rod's kind of sideways. He's got it, he's got it. There he is. I don't know what it is. But he's going straight to the rod. It's a flat boy. No way. Hell yeah. That's a nice one. Look at that. Just like what I was telling you fellas, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for those reds to show up. And how's that for a freaking beautiful redfish right there? Man, kind of weird looking guy, but I'll take him. Dude, I'll take this flat boy over a red for sure, man. And you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no different than most fishermen. You catch a flat boy, they're damn hard to release. And that guy's not getting released. Good thing we got the stringer, man. I was, I was looking forward to catching some reds, but a flat boy's even better. Yeah, woohoo, beautiful guy. Now we gotta get the hook out of his damn mouth, dang. Sick, dude, that's that's not a bad flat boy. Yeah, we'll go this way. The boy will be getting strung up. Look at him. He'll eat ya, he'll eat ya. Already got hit, what? Unless it's a, I got another flounder, dude. Hold on, let him eat it. Let him eat it, fellas, let him eat it. Let's see, I don't know, let's see. Oh, we do, what the? He's on the rock though, heavy. He's on the, oh, another one. Oh my gosh, let's go, there are a bunch of them. I let him eat him too. <laughs> that mullet, aw. Oh. That mullet got him free and swam away. No way. These guys are swallowing my circle hooks though. <laughs> that was an insta bite, dude. What? Four? 
sometimes getting a little bit of live bait doesn't hurt. I mean, if we had some gulp, maybe we would catch them too. But this is crazy, dude. I was expecting reds. Some flat boys might be even freaking better. You know what it is? The beginning of the transitional part of the year. So anytime it's the transitional part of the year, the flat boys start biting. That's kind of hard to beat, man. Hey man, I was kind of thinking we might have got lucky on that first flounder, but another one right after, and it was kind of an instant bite too. I felt it right away, let him eat it, and he ended up being on there, dude. They're running straight into the rock, so it's a good thing we got some 25 pound leader. Now let's see if we throw in another mullet and get another one right away. Believe it or not, I'm not the biggest sit and let the flounder eat it for 30 seconds type of guy. Usually I'm setting the hook instantly, especially when I'm fishing lures, but these mullet are a little bit big for their mouths. So they do like to just chomp it, get a hold of it, and then they continue to eat it. So if I am using live mullet, we'll let them eat it a little bit at least. Dude, we're getting insta bites, dude. I mean, they're, they're sitting right under where these mullet are swimming. There's a lot of other smaller baits right, right in there next to the rocks as well. Just realize I'm on like the slippiest rock of all time without my spikes. Dude, if we set the hook like crazy. Oh, something's on it, actually. Speak of the devil, something's got it right now. Should we set the hook? Oh, there he is. Dang, dude. They're a little bit further. Wait, what is this? Ha, <laughs> there's our redfish. Man, he ate up that mullet. I thought it for sure was another flounder. Told you guys there would be some freaking reds out here. And they're going to be eating up the mullet. Going in with some three-aught circle hooks. Pretty good size for these smaller mullet. If you were going for, like, upper end finger mullet for those redfish, uh, I might go for maybe even five aught, depending how big that mullet is. Oh, there's a big fish. That's a that's a flat boy, I think. He's going straight down. No way. What is it? Another one. This is awesome. I thought it was a giant, but it's about the same size as that. Actually, I don't know. It's pretty big. Whew. I almost just broke my rod, boat flipping him. <laughs> nah, he's not that big, but that's a definite keeper. Check it out. Looks like to me, that guy has been laying on the rocks. He's kind of scuffed up on the bottom. And uh, there he goes. <laughs> we're catching some of these flounder in closer to the rocks, but we're also catching and getting bites a little bit further, about maybe 20 feet off the rocks. Man, that, that kind of tells me there's a lot of them. I mean, obviously we're getting a lot of bites, so there must be. Oh, there's a big one on it. Holy, I was just going to check on it felt big for a second I'm on the rocks for sure look he's way out there he's not big he's just my lines in the rocks ha! oh it's not bad though God no my whole rig broke off classic coop man classic coop retie quick well the reason I lost that fish right there is so I can show you how to make the rig that we were just using it's Carolina rig first on the main line we got just a one ounce egg sinker going on and then we put on a little swivel. Four turn improved clinch knot right there. Lock that in. That keeps the, the weight from going all the way down the line. And then for our final leader, we're going for 25 pound monofilament line. About a foot, maybe a foot and a half of that. Tie it on with again, four, four turn improved clinch knot. Go five turns if you want to be more sure. And then on finally on the bottom, we're going with the three aught circle hook that we've been talking about I'm trying to go quick because there's freaking flounder out there to be caught good one right there boom that's the hot spot that's the hot spot there's a bite let's go run 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 let them eat boy let them eat let them eat I'm letting them I'm letting them He's got it. Surely he's got it. Here we go. There he is. Oh! Get out of the rocks, fella. He's going straight down. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Is, it, is this a flounder? It's a red. <laughs> little red. We're letting that little red eat. We're lucky we caught this guy. A lot of times you don't obviously want to wait. You don't want to wait to set the hook on a redfish, but actually on a little one, shoot might not be such a bad thing because they got those smaller mouths. Dang. 
There's a bite. Oh, he's on, boy. That fish is on, on. There he is. That fish is on. And it's, oh my gosh, smallest flounder so far with the big bait, with our big mullet we had. We got the smallest flat boy. Good hook set though. Right in the corner. That might, that's actually not a good hook set. Look at that. It's in the skin, not even in the jaw. Woohoo, man, beautiful fish. Right about 14 and a half. Maybe you could stretch 15. We'll let him go though. Mm -hmm. See ya, bud. Woohoo. Oh, it is, it was. What? Freaking needlefish, dude. I just caught, I actually just hooked a needlefish. That's a big guy, holy. Damn near a hound fish. My gosh, it's a big one, dude. This is the one of the biggest ones I've seen. Holy. Is it a hound fish? Holy cow, bro. Ah, oh, I messed up, dude. I freaking messed up. Check that guy out. That's definitely my PB needlefish. <laughs> that, I mean, not kidding. That's the biggest one I ever caught. Crazy. Come on, fellas. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here with our two flat boys. Probably should have had a lot more. But I probably would only kept two anyway. <laughs> Look at that too. There's always crabs down there messing with your fish. Luckily, they usually just go for the fins. Fall transition stuff is starting to trickle in, man, and it's kind of a breath of fresh air. And that's coming from someone that loves summer fishing, man. I'm freaking excited, boys, and I'm always happy to catch some flat boys. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time.